YouTube. Sorry for the weed whacker in the background. I was gonna wash the truck on the inside, but it was a little bit more muddy than I thought. But today we're gonna be working on the fender liners. I already have the driver's side clean. Of course there's dirt and stuff coming off of it now. So I need to rinse them again, but uh, I already got the driver's side pretty much cleaned up. I'll show you guys the passenger side. So you can kind of see what they look like before, but they're just covered in mud and dirt. So as you can see, the fender liners are pretty gray. They just lost their color over the years. So today we're gonna to be taking off all the fender liners and hitting them with a little bit of trim paint. I did it on my old second gen and it made the truck look a lot better with the fender liners being black instead of just dirty and gray. So we're gonna go ahead and clean these up. I did notice on this back passenger side that I don't know what this is from, but it's almost like tar or something like that that got just slung up from the tire. So I don't know if we're gonna have to sand that down or what, but once we take it off, we'll kind of take a better look at it. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go ahead and take the fender liners off, go ahead and trim paint them. Obviously first we gotta go ahead and clean this side next. I already got the driver's side done. So yeah, gonna move over the supplies while and go ahead and knock out this passenger side. If you guys were wondering why I was washing the liners while I'm still on the truck instead of taking them off since I'm gonna have to take them off anyways, I figured it'd be easier to wash them with a pressure washer and everything. I didn't wanna be fighting the fender liners. But with this one clean now, you can really see those white specks I was talking about. You can kinda of see it's just wrapped around the whole fender liner. But like I said, we'll tackle that once we get there. I did notice there were some on this driver fender as well, but not near as bad, kinda of see it. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. I don't know what the guy could have ran through or what I could have ran through. But now to the fun part, which is taking off these little plastic clips and hoping we don't break any. Not starting off good. We already broke the first one. Broke the second one. All right, so we were three for three in breaking them. So it looks like these are probably all gonna break. I'm gonna have to run to the store and grab some more. We have the first one out. I went ahead and did this one first because I have this huge dent in the back and I figured it was gonna be the biggest issue because that's kind of bent in, you probably can't even tell, but there's a huge dent right here. So I figured this fender liner was gonna be the hardest to take out, but it honestly wasn't too bad. A little dirty, so I might need to hit it with a little degreaser while I have it off, but first one's done. You can really see the headers now with the fender liner off. That's kind of cool. Save one. We were actually able to save all the clips off the driver's side, so that's a score. Just got the last one off. It's pretty dirty underneath this one too, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and spray it all down with some degreaser and hit up the pressure washer while I have them out. Definitely not a professional setup. The only sandpaper I could find is I have a little bit of 800 left, but I don't have too many pads left. I've already used one, and it worked a little bit. I'm, all I'm trying to do is just get kind of sand it down just a little bit so it's not standing out so much. I know they're just fender liners, but I just want to kind of make it look as good as I possibly can. So I'm going to take like the next 10 minutes and try to smooth some of this down. It's not all going to go away, but just try to get most of it out and then we'll start painting. Just did a quick rinse on the back of the fender liners while those are drying i got some degreaser over here kind of soaking on the inside i don't expect it to be perfect but i do want to kind of rinse it out while i have them off It's obviously still wet, but all I did was spray a little bit of degreaser on here and hit it with a pressure washer. And you can already tell a huge difference. 
We have the back two liners still drying, but we have the front two already on the table. I am going to hit it a little bit with some alcohol, just kind of get the rest of a little bit of dirt and the cracks and crevices I have to get out. And I'll, I'm also using the Duplicolor Trim and Bumper Paint. Years ago, those used to be in green and black cans from like O'Reilly's. It's pretty much the same stuff, but I did notice that the green stuff, or I'm sorry, I did notice that the stuff in the green cans worked a lot better. But I used these on my old second gen probably like five years ago, and they were holding up pretty good. So just went back with them, but we'll give them a shot on this truck as well. So yeah, about to go ahead and wipe these down with the alcohol and go ahead and put our first layer of paint on. I have about four coats on them right now. These are still drying, but I can already tell a huge difference. I only have a little bit left in that can, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of that can on these two, and then I'll use the new can on the other two. But this is just with like four or five passes on them, and they're looking completely different. So, so far, so good. Moving on to the rears now. I didn't notice when I was cleaning them, but it looks like this one on this left-hand side already has had some sort of paint or something on. You kind of see a little bit of the orange peel, but there's nothing on the other side. So I guess the previous owner may have tried to start painting them and then decided not to, but I don't know if you can even tell, but there's just like a little bit of orange peel but it definitely didn't last if you did paint it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint this one first and kind of give you guys a comparison on video, which I should have done with those two. But I'll go ahead and paint this one first, put all five, six layers of coating on it. And then you guys can kind of see the difference between the two. Just to show you a little bit of a difference that has no paint on it. This one has like three to four layers. So big difference between the front two, this back one, and the one that hasn't been painted yet. All right, we're all out of paint. I probably could have used a third can, just kind of touch up some spots because these fender flares definitely soaked up that black trim paint. So if you guys are gonna do it and they're as bad as mine were, definitely probably get you a third can, but one can will do the job as you guys can tell. So they're all kind of just drying right now. Probably about to run to the auto parts store real quick and grab some more of those little plastic push pins to, uh, to fix the ones that I broke off. So while these are drying, we're gonna run up there. All right, I lied, totally forgot I had some clips here. Got all the liners in. You guys tell me what you think. I'll give you a quick little walk around. I think it's a big difference. Wish I would have hit my tires with that brush while I had it out, but definitely an upgrade. I think all in all, I had about two hours worth into just prepping and painting the actual fenders. If you guys' fenders aren't as bad a shape as mine are, it'll probably take you a little bit under two hours, but that's a big difference. I think the next thing we're going to have to do is obviously paint the frame, because with the fenders being done now, the frame kind of stands out. So that's going to be probably next on the to-do list. But all in all, I think it was a pretty good uh, two hours well spent. Let me know what you guys think, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.